Okay, I'm finally making the video what's in my Birkin. This is a very necessary video to make. I just came back from the airport. First thing, my phone is not in my bag, but it's here, I can show you. It's usually in my bag, in this little pocket. It's usually, there's a big pocket here, flat pocket. So my phone is usually in there. This is a case by Liberty London. Oh, I put these two little scarves, which are not Hermes Twillies. I ordered this from Etsy. I'll leave the link down below, but I love them. They have like a, I'll show you actually, they're really nice scarves. And I think you can still order them. They have a motif, like under the water motif. And I put them on. I don't really want to wear scarves on the bag all the time, but because I've been in Ibiza and I'm wearing suntan all the time and I had just gotten the bag and I didn't want to ruin it first thing. But aren't these so pretty? They have fishes and just coral motifs. I'm reading this book. I always have a book with me, at least one actually, a book and a notebook. So I write ideas on my notebook. I always like my notebooks to be Clairefontaine. I just love Clairefontaine notebooks. And the book that I'm reading this week is The Unbearable Lightness of Being, which is a classic by Milan Kundera. And I don't know, I have mixed thoughts about this one. On one hand, there are some realizations that make me think which I like, but I find it so pseudo-intellectual, like it's trying to take itself very seriously, which I don't like. And I find a lot of what it says very ugly. I find it a bit self-entitled, I'm not sure about that, and I'm also not sure about a man, a male author, trying to get into the mind of a female, which they do because they talk a lot about relationships. Anything that's related to relationships in this book, I don't really agree with, which I'm not going to say that the fact that you don't agree with something makes you not enjoy a book, but I just feel like I just find it a bit dumb, and that hurts me a little bit hurts my intellect a little bit. I'm still interested in continuing reading it because there's a lot of things that he says that I can learn from, but I just find it a bit overrated. Next thing, my sunglasses. I love these sunglasses, they're by Versace. My makeup bag, I have a bunch of stuff in here. This makeup bag is by Pucci. I love Pucci, it's another one of my favorite brands. It fits so much stuff, this makeup bag. It has everything I need to do a face of makeup. Then the microphone that I'm using, I carry it around just in case I want to record podcasts because I've been doing a lot of podcasts lately. If you haven't seen them, check them out because I talk a lot. I make video diaries and stuff. I am unsure about the position of this camera all the time. A spare set of keys because my friend just left and I picked them up. My wallet, coin. I never carry a really big wallet. I prefer coin purses like this one. This is by Chloe and I really like it. The leather is beautiful and it has a little slot here for receipts. I'm trying to keep a budget. This is my new thing this month. Just, just trying to keep a, a record and then I'll think about budgeting. I've had these socks for maybe, I don't even know, 20 years, since I was a little girl, honestly. And I carry my headphones in there. I still have a very classic pair of wired headphones by Apple, because I have an iPhone. Tissues, I like these tissues with motifs. Detail wipes. Have you watched that video of Naomi Campbell flying? and washing everything from her seat to her tray inside the airplane. If you haven't seen it, you have to see it. I think it's in her official YouTube channel. She carries Tito wipes, which I mean, I'm not carrying them because of her, because I've done this before, but she made me think of doing it again. And they are so handy when you're going to public toilets, you know, airport situations. It's just like, just take them. Napkins that they gave me. I always keep all the napkins and I try to get as many napkins as possible from places 
a scrunchie that I got from this brand called Lily Silk with my last order of silk pillow. I use a silk pillow and I love it. A spare hair claw, I'm wearing the other one. I always have a spare hair claw and my case in my in my Prada key holder which I've had forever which was a gift and lastly but not least my fountain pen from Lamy that I used to write oh god I spilled ink everywhere opening that I'm gonna need the napkin and that's all and there's another zipped pocket but I'm not using it Et voila, this is it, empty. I hope you liked it. I'll try to keep you updated with these what's in my bags because I find them really fun to watch, so. And you know, if you have a nice handbag, then all the more reason to show it. I hope everybody's well. Let me know how you're doing and what you think and what you're carrying and I'll speak to you soon.